Look at me, I can wear bright colours. Who knew? Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a video which is kind of like a... Not a haul, but a... Let's call it a... I wish this was my haul. So I've seen um, quite a few videos that are kind of similar to this where you basically show... I think a lot of people do these videos kind of showing what they intend to buy. My version of this is showing you things that I wish I could afford to buy um, or just wish I could justify buying or just for any number of many number of reasons I will not be purchasing any of the things I'm showing you but I wish I was and you might think that this is kind of a weird or pointless video if you think that that's fine just don't watch it easy as that I don't know I thought this was kind of a fun thing and maybe it'll give you guys some ideas of what to buy although there are some hideously expensive things here well, I consider them to be hideously expensive. A, a lot of it is kind of the average what I see people kind of spending on YouTube. So like, you know, trousers for 25 quid and stuff like that. My stomach turns if I even think about buying a top that's more than 15 quid. So I'm just gonna get straight into it and show you guys what I would love to buy, but I'm not. And it's all available on ASOS and all of it will be linked in the description. The first thing are these ASOS Mono Floral Calotte Shorts and these are £15 and they are just really really nice why is my mouse not working? <laughs> um, a really nice black high waisted short um, with white flowers on and I really really like these and they're styled really nicely as well I probably would have styled them in a similar way you know just with a plain white t-shirt and some sandals and I just think these look really awesome. Next are a pair of shorts from New Look and these are the New Look High Waist Gingham Shorts. I'm really loving how gingham looks on everyone at the moment. I think it's such a nice print, especially in red. So these shorts are just gorgeous. They're $17.99 and they've got a little tie up bow on there. I can't see what the material is. So what are they? Print Just printed woven fabric machine wash okay majoritively polyester a little bit of cotton but i just think they're so gorgeous and i don't know i probably would have worn these in a different way um probably with just a plain white t-shirt and some converse or something um or i really like how they styled it too but that's probably how i would have worn them had i have been buying them what shall i work it on the catwalk yes girl okay next is this absolutely beautiful dress now if you would have told me like a few months ago i would have been lusting over a red dress i would have said to you hell no i don't like red on myself but i recently bought a red dress and i really really liked it and this one is just gorgeous and it's not like if i had somewhere to wear this like if i was needing to buy a dress or 35 quid is nothing for a dress really even if i'm saying that and i'm tight as hell then that it must be good um, so this is the Boohoo Corded Lace Panelled Skater Dress and isn't it just beautiful? Her hair's nice too. <laughs> um, I love how it kind of goes... I love how it's kind of like got a slip until it gets to a certain point like mid thigh and then you can kind of see a little bit through the lace of the skirt. Um, I love that it's got some a little bit of sleeves on there and I really like the cut of this as well and I wouldn't normally ever go for a dress that length but I feel like with the right shoe it would really work. Um, it's kind of a shame they don't have this in other colours, I mean maybe they do, I haven't looked but I feel like this would look nice in so many colours. Next is so out of my price range I can't even begin to tell you. So this is the Free People All I Got Maxi Dress in floral print and that this is £148 which is a lot for like a kind of in my opinion casual day dress but it's beautiful. I love Free People so much. What I love about Free People's clothes is just how everything just looks so flowy and I can always imagine Vanessa Hudgens in all the Free People stuff. Um, I love how they've really simply styled this um, just with some sandals and well actually it's not simple really because there's a lot of jewellery but I just think this dress is beautiful and would look really nice at like a garden party, like a kind of dress down garden party and I love the colour, it's quite an unusual ready 
because it's not like a f true red is it it's kind of a red with like brown undertones and I just really love it so much and I love her hair too I'm getting a lot of hair envy on the ASOS website today next top is something I would totally wear um all day every day and this is the ASOS cotton ruffle smock top at 32 pounds and I love this I've been a big fan of this kind of cut on a top for a really long time it's kind of that loose peplum kind of top and I love the sleeves I'm getting a little bit more adventurous with my style ever so slightly like I would never would have worn something with sleeves like that before but I really really like it now and um, I just think it looks awesome I love how they've styled it as well actually um, but the thing about a top like this is that it is so versatile and um, you could wear this with pretty much anything next is a beautiful pair of trainers from Lacoste these are the Lacoste Chaumont Lace 317 one trainers in white and pearl copper these are 85 quid and I've never spent that much on a pair of trainers because I get a lot of mine second hand a lot of my trainers um, but I just think these are so nice I love a classic white trainer and then they've just got that nice little bit of that kind of rose gold colour oh they're gorgeous I, trainers are like the one thing that I just melt over. I love trainers so much. Next is so lovely because it's it's a twist on that classic like boyfriend looking shirt. Um, so this is the neon rose oversized shirt with floral embroidery, and I just think this is so gorgeous. Look at the detail on that; it's so nice. And then there's a little bit on the collar as well, which I think is just stunning. And I really love the jeans that they paired it with. Not too hot on the sandals. I've got a pair of sandals like that, but I don't wear them out. Um, um, I probably would have worn this with like a tan pair of boots or something, like a nice suede boot or something, or trainers. They would they would look really nice with those Lacoste trainers. Um, so yeah, I think that's a really really nice shirt. Next thing is one of my absolute favourites. So when I was a teenager, I was obsessed with Hello Kitty and these speak to me so much. I really like the Lazy Oaf clothing brand. I think it's really cool and quirky. And these trousers, I want them so, so much. Um, so these are the Lazy Oaf. Uh, it's a collaboration with Hello Kitty and the gingham trousers with bows. Even if I did want them, I don't think they've got my size. It's not that I would spend £70 on a pair of trousers. That is not my life <laughs> um I keep having to refresh the page because the pictures aren't loading um i just think these are honestly the coolest trousers in the world and i just love everything about it i love how they've styled it as well um but i also think these could look really great kind of like you could wear these to work like obviously it depends on where you work but like if i worked in an office i would totally wear those trousers with like a pair of black loafers a white shirt or something and it would just look so cool i think even though they've got that quirky pop of having the hello kitty bow on there i think that they are a really versatile piece that can still be dressed up and down in a major variety of ways next is a pair of jeans and i've got about 30 40 50 pairs of jeans so i don't need any more jeans but i just really liked these um i really love the color on them and the kind of fade and block i don't know it's really hard to describe um but i just think they're so cool and 25 quid for a pair of jeans isn't bad at all so these are the boohoo color block mum jeans and i just really love these oh god the next thing is from fred perry and i adore fred perry so much i blame my dad my dad likes a lot of fred perry so this dress oh my god it's beautiful this is the fred perry high neck knitted dress with houndstooth print and it's 110 pounds and i love it um i would never buy it even if I had unlimited money. I wouldn't buy it because I don't think the neck would suit me, but it looks really awesome on her. And I just think it's just such a cool dress. Fred Perry never get it wrong in my eyes either. I just think they're such a classic brand. And I love all the Amy Winehouse stuff that they do as well. Oh my God, can we take a second to appreciate these, the next thing, which is the most beautiful pair of shoes ever. These are the Faith Florence Suede Frill Hilled Sandals and they're £65 and 
I would like to marry them. He's like an old guy, but I think he's really sweet. I just, oh wow, they've even matched her nail varnish with the sandals, that's cool. Um, there, there might be a little bit too much going on for some people in this shoe, where you've got like the ruffly frill, and then the, oh my god, amazing chunky heel, that's like just smothered in studs, and oh, I am obsessed with these. I think they are just out of this world. Let's see her work it. Oh, I literally want them so much. Next thing is a dress, and this is the ASOS Midi Button Through Sundress with Dipped Hem. Um, I have been really loving the kind of button down dresses, and I love this. I love navy so much. I think navy is such a nice colour to wear. Um, if you remember, cast your memories back to so the Primark haul I did, and I bought a flowery flowy dress that has like three buttons and then it's open at the bottom so you'd wear like shorts under it. I really want that dress but in full dress form with buttons and I really want to find something like it with the sleeves and just the flowiness but I want it to have more buttons on it so it's more of a dress. Um, so this, so I'm constantly finding myself searching for button down dresses and this one came up and I thought this was really nice and again a really versatile piece, you can see I like my versatile pieces, you could wear this to the beach, you could wear this, I don't know, I feel like you could wear that to a wedding with the right kind of styling. You could wear it downtown with a pair of sandals, you could just wear it anywhere and for 25 quid for a dress is really good. Um, especially a dress, like I said, that you could wear everywhere. Last one is one of my favourites, and this is the ASOS Petite Gingham Shift Dress with bow details. And I'm, I think I'm not quite eligible for petite for a dress. I think this would be too short on me, considering the length it is on her. Um, I'm about five foot five, so I think this would be too short on me if I did want to wear, uh, buy it, because it is, it isn't that bad of a price, really. Um, I just think this is so cool. Like I said, I'm really into the gingham, but I just love the blue gingham ties on there. It looks awesome. How have they styled this? I can't see what shoe she wore with it. Oh, she's wearing sandals, but I think this would look really cool with black boots. And you could wear that in the winter as well if you put some tights and a biker jacket on the top as well. That would look really awesome. And I like that a lot. So that is everything that I'm lusting over at the moment over on ASOS. Feel free to buy me any of that if you want. <laughs> Let me know if any of those things have kind of tickled your fancy. Maybe if there's something that you're going to be checking out. Let me know if there's anything that you're like saving up for at the moment or anything you've got your eye on. Um, I don't know. I just really think it's nice to have your eye on something for a really long time and save up for it. I think that's nice. I feel like so much in fashion is really impulsive and it's just like, yes, I'll buy that now, I'll buy this. But, um... I think it's really nice to have something in mind and save for it for ages. And sometimes it goes out of stock and that's so annoying. <laughs> okay, so that is everything. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here and click the little bell and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.